Kitsune Harubi here and welcome to my channel. I have found something rather interesting. Actually I found it a couple of months ago. And it intrigued me because I have never seen anything like this one before. But it does seem to be the thing to do lately to come up with food themed toys and also really strange gimmicks. What am I talking about? I am talking about fur by the foot. Yes, that is a great big bubblegum container. Uh, <laughs> apparently, there may be two or three stuffed animals in here. This is the first series, so I guess they're planning on doing more. There are 26 to collect. And uh, this is put out by the brand Just Play, which I've seen them do some other blind box kind of things. But for by the foot bubblegum besties. Let's see. I'm looking for some instructions because it seems to show you pull them out here, just like their bubblegum. And then it has this little snap case on it. So it says open here. That's the only instructions I get. Right there. So is there a tear strip? No, of course not. Let's pop this open then. There it is. Mmm, shreddy plastic. Everybody's favorite, I'm sure. Whoops! Well, it's a little bit slick. is open here and there's a little piece of fuzz I guess I just start pulling here's the first one which appears to be a bunny here's two which is a sloth and that's the end of it so I got two on this one and here's the booklet So the tape that they're on is actually glued to a spindle up in here. Let's have a look. the very end of everything after you've opened all of it you get your instruction booklet <laughs> maybe they should have put this on the outside but I guess yeah you can just put them back in here on the uh, fabric tape and pull them out again and again if you three flat yeah, it seems you can wind them back up into it. Nobody cares about that. <laughs> That's the information we wanted at the beginning. So let's look at the little book here and see who all we have in this series and who I got. Oh, there's a lot. You can see here there's a whole string of them here and even more on the back. Let's see, I have, let's take it off the elastic, it's holding it in. They're not scented, unfortunately. Missed opportunity. This is a really cute bunny. These ears are so amazingly soft. It's a very nice fabric. The faces are nicely embroidered with dimensional eyelashes. Not so sure about the giant tag. I know they have to put tags on anything like this, but um, it could be less conspicuous. You've got his fuzzy tail, super long ears. According to this chart, I have Grapefruit Melon Bunny. That's definitely the one. That's definitely the one. 
So grapefruit melon bunny. Super cute. And let's see who you are, my little friend. Obviously you are a sloth. Also with a nice embroidered face. So it seems to be a little crooked. Maybe it's because it's a sloth. Fuzzy tail. Oh. And they uh, have Velcro dots on their little hands. Yeah. Velcro dots on all their little hands so you can link them together. And this little guy... He's not a common. Ooh. No, he is a common. He's just on the other page. Sour Watermelon Grumpy Sloth. He certainly does have a sour face. And very, very long limbs. <laughs> the characters all seem really, really cute. There's puppies, kittens, bears, raccoon. Oh, the raccoon's adorable. A toucan, a llama, a unicorn. Got monkey, koala. Let's see, flamingo, an elephant, a leopard, a poodle. That's another puppy. Panda, mouse, zebra. Ooh, Arctic chill fox. I like that fox. Because I also like the spicy cinnamon kitty cat. Ice Lemonade Kitty, Tiger, or there's another unicorn. Yeah, these are actually really kind of cute. It's a nifty gimmick. Now, as you can see here, you're able to open this up. Maybe not easily, but you can do it. So you can rewind everything. And there are little elastic pieces and cuts to make it easier to put them back on. Yeah, I endorse this one. <laughs> I say go ahead and find yourself some fur by the foot and get yourself a couple of cute bubblegum friends to add to your collection. I would like to see more of these. We'll see how that goes. But anyway guys, if you like this kind of content, be sure to like, subscribe, and share, and uh, lay down some comments. Which kind of little characters would you like to see in this? Here we go. Ah. Yeah, I'm still playing with them. I guess that's a good sign. Nice quality toy. But anyway, yeah. Like, subscribe, share, visit me on Patreon and Etsy, or for some doll content over at Doll Yokai. And thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you next time. Bye.